My name is Stephen Kasica, and I'm presenting Dirty Data in the Newsroom, comparing data preparation in journalism and data science. And this is work in collaboration with my co-authors, Charles Barrett at the University of Linkshoping and Tamara Munzner at the University of British Columbia. Preparing data is often the most time-consuming and tedious aspect of data work, including wrangling, cleaning, munging, and gathering data. And many researchers have studied this process among data scientists, noting that this can take up to 80% of a project's overall time. Today, journalists are increasingly turning to data as a source to deliver the day's news in a new way and to support investigations in ways that traditional news gathering techniques cannot. And while the field of journalism has historically gone through many quantitative turns, the work today falls under the genre of data journalism. But compared to data scientists, not much is known about how these data journalists prepare data, but we do know that they use many of the same tools from the data science community. So our study seeks to understand how closely the abundant research on data preparation and data science applies to data journalism. We conduct our study in four phases. In the first phase, we analyzed 16 research papers documenting data scientists' preparation workflows, which were identified in related work conducting a literature review in this area. And we use thematic analysis to analyze this data based on the activities these data science workers performed and the underlying data issues these activities address. In the second phase, we interview 36 data journalists on their preparation practices. And we analyze these interview transcripts with regards to activities and issues, noting where data science codes from phase one apply to this data but also generating new data journalism codes from this interview data. And from our analysis of these activities, we propose an augmented model of preparation activities, our first contribution. But we felt like our analysis of the issues was incomplete, so we consult a third source, 16 taxonomies on dirty data published in the research literature on databases. And we reflect and synthesize on these issues from data science, data journalism, and databases to identify 60 distinct data issues and categorize these into a new taxonomy, our second contribution. In the fourth and final phase, we review our interview transcripts at a higher level. All participants told us in detail about particularly challenging data preparation stories, and we note 63 nightmare data stories participants described. And we categorize these stories into four challenges involving multi-table data integration, our third and final contribution. Our first contribution is an augmented model of preparation activities. In the first two phases, we analyze papers on data science workflows and the transcripts from our interviews with data journalists with regards to preparation activities. And from this thematic analysis, we identify 23 preparation activities. We also match our findings to a model of data science work proposed in related work by Crisson et al. And this model nicely frames data preparation in both data science and data journalism and hence we call this an augmented model of data preparation activities. And we're able to contrast and compare both groups by looking at the occurrences of codes in these two qualitative data sources. We note activities that were mentioned in the data science process papers that were never or rarely mentioned by data journalists. And likewise, we note activities that were often reported by journalists that are underreported in the data science literature. Our second contribution is a model discrepancy taxonomy of dirty data. We begin by considering data as a design artifact and dirty data as discrepancies in mental models between data workers. We extend our issue analysis from the first two phases to incorporate issues from the database literature, analyzing 16 taxonomies on dirty data, clustering over 300 issues into 45 unique issues in this corpus. And then we combine this with our issue analysis of data scientists and data journalists to create a synthesis set of 60 data issues. Then we categorize these into a new model discrepancy taxonomy. And these categories exist on two axes. The first being data qualities. We extend existing qualities, completeness and accuracy, with new qualities, form, granularity, relation, and semantics. And our second axis is data objects, which includes tables, attributes, items, and values and more details are provided in the paper. Our third contribution are challenges in multi-table data integration. We classify the 69 data preparation nightmare stories journalists told us into four categories, 
excluding stakes that do not fit into one of these categories. And these categories are important with regards to data work in general because they flip the script on integration's role within the overall preparation process. Instead of being viewed as a means to an end, often early in the process, these stories treat integration as the end goal itself. Our first challenge is regional data sets, which come from independent sources publishing data on the same phenomena. And one area where this turns up is in reporting of use of force incidences by police officers. One journalist told us of analysis involving the 50 largest police departments in the United States, which also involved integrating 50 often very different data sets from these individual police departments. Our second category is diachronic data sets, tables on the same phenomena but that can change in subtle and significant ways over time. Multiple participants discuss analyzing employment data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and one aspect of this challenge is when the values definition changes over time. For example, a computer analyst in the 1980s isn't the same thing as a computer analyst today, and this can complicate over time analysis. Fragmented data are tables with different yet related items. Coincidentally, multiple interviews touched on investigations of unpaid safety violations in coal mines, but linking safety violations to mine owners is not a straightforward task. Safety violations are often linked to data on mine locations. Mine locations are operated by mine operators who are employed by mine owners. And these data sets need to be assembled carefully to support accurate and valid data analysis. But this work is important because mine owners sometimes are prominent politicians. Disparate data sets are topically dissimilar and seemingly unrelated. One powerful example of this challenge involved one participant covering the opioid epidemic. By taking data that contained individual state healthcare workers with a separate data set on statewide deaths, this journalist was able to match entities by name in order to identify healthcare workers who died of opioid overdoses. And this data work provided leads that the journalist followed up with using traditional news gathering techniques. We compare how journalists and data scientists prepare raw data. We contribute an augmented model of preparation activities, finding that data scientists and data journalists have a lot in common. We propose a new model discrepancy taxonomy for dirty data, which frames existing issues in a novel way that better matches how end users think about their data. And finally, we identify four challenges in multi-table integration, which itself challenges the model for how data integration fits within the overall preparation process. Thank you.